the Joe Rogan experience. You are really famous in Myanmar, right? Like someone told me, told me that your wedding, <laughs> 30 million people watched your wedding on yeah. television there? More than that, I think, but yeah. That's fucking insane. It was, so the story that's like, look, so now we go back to the story. When we when I, when I went to over after prison fight, I went to Myanmar. Then I, after, after... Uh, we didn't even talk about the prison fight. We kind of skipped we, over it. I mean, I, I won. Like, yeah. uh, so, so, no, but yeah. I, I think the more important is the let's wait part. So then right, I, okay. it just, I talked about it because that was my connection to the promoter. Motor. Oh, okay. Then the promoter got, got, gets me into Let's Way. And then I I, uh, I like beat up Tutu. And then I get right away challenged by Tutu Min, the open weight. So, mm -hmm. like, the, the best in the country. When you open weight champ, you're the best in the world in Let's Way, right? The biggest and right. the, 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 the strongest. So, he's a third, fourth, five generation Let's Way fighter. His grandfather was a Let's Way fighter. And they were all golden belts winners, right? So, the, he's born in, in the, like, if you look where he lives, it's raw, man. It's the hut, it's in the jungle. And he's, he's, raised in the headbutt culture like you know he's he's an animal he's a head hunter he just goes for the head and he, he's he has a good right hand so i'm like and i knew right away after that fight with tutu i he was fighting that night too so we uh i go shake his hand he doesn't know yes and no in english that's how bad he is and i i say good fight and he's like he just gave me a head nod and i knew that we we're gonna meet so we meet and uh yeah and then where was I going with this? Basically, we, what was your question, Joe? You no, said no. Just gotta just, yeah, just so keep going. Fight, so, so you that, meet him. I bet with the first fight. This, that's I think it's important to talk about this because I was only my second Lithuanian fight ever, right? And I'm fighting the best. Two league. legends in a row. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, they want again. They like, oh, Tutu, Tutu didn't get him, so let's get Tutu Min to, to fuck him up, right? right? So I go back. To, I was at, I was at Tiger at the time, and that was uh, you no. Know, we'll go back to this later, but I was. They were laughing at me because I was doing headbutts on the bags, and they were. <laughs> it was all a big show every time I was doing headbutts, right? Like, right. oh, look at Dave doing this. Uh, look uh -huh. at. I had to teach this guy with three hundred. My my my. Um, my coach at the time, my pad holder at the time, I had to teach him how to hold pads for headbutts. And that's the way I developed a bit the way to do, you know, jab, cross, hook, headbutt, elbow, mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. So then they were laughing. Okay, cool. I don't care. I'm winning fights. I go there and um, first fight, that's the hard part, man. Like I, the first round, the first couple of rounds, the three rounds, he, I tip, I, I push kick his stomach and he grabs it and he, he sweeps my other leg many times. So I actually sectioned my, the back of my leg. Um, like it was, I had to do physio, like my nerves, I think in the back of my right leg was like, fuck. Se section? Sectioned, or maybe not, mean? maybe not sectioned, but like severely damaged. Okay. So, uh, yeah, section would be pretty bad. Yeah. So, uh, cause what, I would, what do you mean by section? Does I mean, that mean like tear? Like, uh, tear like the yeah, it was like and uh, damage. Is like, that from kicking you the back? I of your think leg? it's because he did it many times in the same spot, uh -huh. right on my the back of my knee. Okay, which there's a lot of nerves. So he's stuff. catching your teep kick and then kicking your other leg. Yes. Okay. So then many times, and I don't. So it's tearing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I don't. Re I'm like, what the fuck? Like, uh, cause I I want to go inside. I want to do my elbows, mm -hmm. and I can't. Cause I, and uh, so then adaptation I think is key in life as well, right? You need to 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 adapt. And for that, so again, this guy is seventy fights. Uh, you know, I think yeah, like uh, all, all by chaos, he's just smashing everyone. And then, um, I uh, I started adapting. I went to, I went to the leg instead, the push kick to the leg instead mm -hmm. of the stomach, and that he couldn't catch it anymore. And then it was it was making buckle up. So that was a right. big a big thing in my So you're head. hitting him above the thigh, hyperextending the knee. Yeah. And yeah. he can't get in. So he he's a bull. They call him the bull. So he goes inside. He can't he can't go inside if I'm pushing his leg too much, right? right. So he's having a hard time and he's gassing out a little bit because he's he give he usually knocks him out in the first round. He goes far, right? Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, I kinda I, I knocked him out a couple of times, like knocked him down a couple of times at the end of the fight. So it was a real draw, right? It was a real draw. So we ended up the first fight as a draw, but then right away automatic rematch. We fight you again. How long? Two months. Two months. But and then your leg the, is fucked up. Yeah. So that. But then was it was a it was a uh, an added sweetener. That was again. I'm I'm very emotional today. I have goosebumps. <laughs> like because it changed my life, Joe. Yeah. Like basically, it was if you win this fight, it's gonna be it's December 2011, uh, 2016. If you win this fight, you're gonna we're gonna pay for your wedding. And uh, it's for the golden belt. So the other one was only a challenge fight, you know. But when they, when they, like, this was actually for, like, you can, it's for the title fight. Mm -hmm. So I got two draws, and now it's, like, title fight. So I'm like, let's go. I train, and uh, I train hard. And, uh, yeah, we go, we meet up again. And now I, because I, I, I proposed Irina, I proposed Irina uh, after the other fight uh, in Bagan. By the way, if you have a chance to go there, beautiful. 10,000 temples, UNESCO-protected temples. And uh, you go there at 5 a.m., 4 a.m., and you see the sunrise on those 
like temples and like uh, there's hot air balloon it's beautiful wow. so i i, I propose uh, to rena in russian i, I learn i learned my script in russian and uh, she says yes uh, i don't know how i tricked her to 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 love me but <laughs> so we go there but then it makes the news in myanmar right so oh, they've uh, got engaged in bagan so then the promoter calls me so hey you got that fight in december if you win we you want to get married in myanmar i said yeah so it's going to be a myanmar traditional wedding so full gold with like Like I'll show you pictures. It's pretty wow. cool. But I said, but um, it's gonna be like we're gonna make an event out of this. So he obviously he's not stupid. The guy he pays twenty grand, but he's gonna make an. Uh, he's gonna. He's gonna put it on television. Yeah, a bit like yeah. what they did with you know they they help they help Connor or whatever. Like they want to build a, build a fire. Sure, you know? sure. So uh, it's live on TV and it's a BBC freaking everything. Wow. Um, So uh, I had a lot of pressure. I had to win. I don't want my wife to because the wedding was going to happen regardless, right? Like, but this could be a better wedding, right? Yeah, Look I don't want to. Oh, the, <laughs> wow. that's not that's not the most glamorous one. Maybe there's another it's one. Pretty cool, man. Oh, the, this one or the, yeah, or then wow, we did, yeah, pretty cool. So you have Irina Terehova and uh, Dave Lezuk in Burmese language. Wow. That was pictures from BBC. Yeah, look at my hat. Maybe uh, Jamie can go on the left. Uh, yeah, maybe you can see the hat. This one, yeah. Look, I have like a. A hat. That's pretty what cool. What is that uh, hat called? I don't know hat. the name, but when well, you see my my uh, my skirt, it's called a longi. Longi. So this, Joe, you know, this is everybody in Myanmar has that. It's also in India. Uh, in India, they call that the longi. Mm -hmm. in, in in Myanmar, they call it the longi. Most comfortable thing in the world. You wear that. It's is uh, it like a kilt. I have one for you. You have one for me. <laughs> Look at that. Hilarious. It's directly from Myanmar. It fits in that little tiny bag. Yeah, yeah. So you, you're gonna look. It's like a, a long thing. This is directly from Burma. Oh. And uh, basically, yeah, it's so it's uh, like a kilt. It's like a kilt. No, a kilt would be knee knee up. Right. And this is lower. This one is all the way down. Oh, all the way down the ground. Yeah, and I have a story for that. Okay. So this actually, uh, like, I don't give you expensive. The dudes wear yes, underwear. That's a, that's a dollar, by the way. A dollar. Yeah. Nice. So uh, I don't. I don't. Now, do, you, do these guys <laughs> wear underwear under this, or they free ball? Yeah. <laughs> they commando. Now they, they no? you wear underwear. Okay. But then the story with this, and we'll go back to the fight, guys. It's just that uh, people wear that very comfortable, but then when the when the, like war happens, you put it up. And it looks like a, almost like a diaper, right? And you mm -hmm. can kick because this you can't kick with this. Oh, I see. And you I put see. it up, and then uh, it show off your 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 leg tats because they have a big tradition of leg tattoos. Oh, okay. and uh, that's where you get all your tattoos in your legs. Yeah. Does it come from being over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it is. Uh, I waited. I waited before having them because I wanted to make sure I deserve them. You know. Ah, interesting. You know? Okay. Cool. Uh, and uh, basically, so I like that because when you don't know who's a fighter, uh, unless you see at your face, but then let, let's say the the war was happening. Boom, everybody gets their lunge up and they're ready for battle. And you see, oh, he's a fighter. Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, he's a fighter, right? Because mm. the, the legs are tied up. Got it. Uh, back in the days, everybody had, uh, every fighter that was fighting in the had the, the Tokwin, it's called. The okay, so yeah, anyway. back to the fight. Yes. So, because uh, we're doing a big uh, 101 about Myanmar right now, right? Everything. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, really, cool. so many things to talk about. So, uh, the fight. And then I started, um, I actually had a Canadian t uh, TV following me for that fight. And he usually told me that, Dave, usually when we follow somebody, the, the, the guy never wins. You know? <laughs> But I, I was like pretty happy. So I ended up, uh, I get him like a, a takedown. I'm bloody, I, I get him with an elbow in the face. He's, his, his head is like open up, a pretty big gap in the head. He's bleeding. And then I get a takedown. But I'm using a lot of my teeth this time. And uh, like he buckles him up. And I think I, 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 the leg is, their legs are not going too well. And then I do a takedown. And he like he falls on his leg, and then he has to use his timeout. So yeah, they bring him back, and he's he looks in pain. And I I tell my corner, and uh, I'm a bit like I'm I'm bleeding because he got me to cut too. That's that's also pretty rare. But I'm I, and uh, and then I'm I'm here. I say which leg is it? Which leg is it? And uh, my corner uh, at times like it's the it's the right leg. So I'm like okay. So I'm like I, and then he the two minutes ends up. He goes back. He's like he looks limping a little bit. So I'm like I'm attacking the right leg. So I try I try to hit it, but he's and then I do another takedown and he's bleeding more. And then not long after that, it was over. He he was he wasn't able to get up. All right. So uh, and actually when he fell down, it is a beautiful. Uh, it was a pretty intense moment. He fell down and right in front of the Canadian the Canadian TV crew, and he, the blood like leaks on the floor and it's pretty intense. Like pretty cool. Uh, Pretty cool because uh, I'm excited about this because like there's not a lot of good quality videos about Litwe, you know. Right, so, right. So we is got that, that available online. Can yeah. Jamie pull that up? I mean, if you if you go to my like uh, I don't know, YouTube or something, you could probably see um, the thing while we're while we're talking. But 
So this makes you the Golden Belt champion. Exactly. This is a giant moment for you. And this also spreads the word about Letway in Canada. It's well, not automatically, right? Because it happens in Myanmar. Right. So, um, and then, but then in Myanmar, it's just becoming like crazy people. And we get married live on TV two days after the fight. So, oh. so it's like literally there. Cause now, they don't resent you for beating up their champion now? Well, okay, a little bit, a little uh, bit. because he's representing the entire Muslim community in Myanmar. And I'm basically without even, because I don't adhere to anything, but like basically uh, um, I'm representing all like the 95 percenters, which is like Christian, Buddhist, and mm -hmm. like everybody right. else basically. So yeah, uh, yeah, they, 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 they were so happy. <laughs> they were pretty excited because oh, I, I think they, they, were, they knew that what was going to happen, like we we're going to promote their culture mm -hmm. abroad, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So they're just happy people are promoting the sport. Yeah. 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 <laughs>